On his part, Vice President Professor Emil Shibanjo called on Nigerians to put aside their grievances and pray for the unity of the country. The second instruction he gives to the people, he says that we, the people, must work and pray for the prosperity and welfare of the nation. God instructed not just the captives of, of, of Nebuchadnezzar, that's the scripture that I quoted earlier in Jeremiah, but he has instructed us even in these times that we must pray and work for the peace and prosperity of our country and that we must, as individuals, pray for the leadership of our country. The people of God, in particular, have a duty to pray and work for the peace and prosperity of this nation, regardless of party, regardless of parochial considerations, regardless of who you voted for, and regardless of who you did not vote for. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.